Natural here. Welcome back to my channel. So about a month ago, we talked about crystals. It was like a crystal 101 beginner intro to crystals type vibe. And at the end of that video, I said that I was going to follow up with how to cleanse your crystals. So that is what we are doing today. We are learning how to cleanse our crystals. So crystals tend to hold on to negative energy. And so that is why we're going to want to cleanse our crystals, whether that be negative energy from someone else or negative energy from you, you're going to want to cleanse them. There are some crystals that are self cleansing and um, we'll talk about those later. We'll revisit that. Okay. So now when you first acquire your crystals, whether you purchase them, whether they're gifted to you, whether you find it, whether you went digging for crystals yourself, you're going to want to cleanse the crystal because you don't know what that crystal is holding on to. Okay, so that's very important that step one after acquiring the crystal is cleanse the crystal. If you're doing any sort of energy body work, healing work with your crystals, uh, whether that's balancing the chakras or meditating with your crystals, you're going to want to cleanse your crystals before and after. If you're doing any sort of crystal grids, which I've been really into lately, I'm loving crystal grids, then you're going to want to also cleanse your crystals before you start using them in your crystal grid work. Sometimes you'll want to cleanse your crystals more often than not. Uh, in general, I'll say that unless I'm doing something like the, what I just mentioned, working with like healing body work or crystal grids, I'll generally cleanse my crystals about once a month, uh, unless something unusual is going on. Um, you will know whether or not something unusual is going on. You will know that if you have some sort of funky energy or some sort of whatever coming from your crystals, you will know when to cleanse your crystals. So I say use your intuition and you'll hear me say that a lot when I'm speaking about crystals, use your intuition because I think a lot of times we just do not trust our higher self enough. And so if you feel like for whatever reason, oh, I need to cleanse my crystals or I want to cleanse my crystals, go ahead and do it. Just do it. It's not going to hurt anything, right? So just go ahead and do it. So there are multiple methods for cleansing your crystals. What I'm going to speak about today is just five very simple, very easy ways to cleanse your crystals. Now there are loads more. And so the first method is smudging your crystals. So whether or not you're using a sage stick bundle or you're using Palo Santo, you can smudge your crystals to cleanse them. So you're going to light either your sage stick or your Palo Santo, whichever. Um, I find that a lot of people find the smoke from the sage very bothersome. So if they have allergies, it may make their eyes water or cause their uh, throats to run uh, because of the smoke. So Palo Santo seems to be a more gentle and more mild, but um, it's really up to you. I love them both. It just depends on my mood. And so what you'll do is you'll light your sage or you'll light your, light your Palo Santo. You'll take your crystal and you will wave your crystal through the smoke. The smoke is going to cleanse the crystal of any negative energy, get rid of any negative energy that the crystal is holding. The same way you would smudge your home or, you know, your space or your body. It's the same way that you will do with your crystal. So yeah, it's that simple. Light the sage or light the Palo Santo, take your crystal, wave it back and forth in the smoke of the sage or the Palo Santo. Sometimes I'll like get real jazzy and wave it around and spiral it around. But um, I'll do this for a couple of minutes. I'll do this for a couple of minutes, just like you would if you were saging, smudging your home or your body and um, anywhere from a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes. And um, that's it. That's it. Your crystal is cleansed. Simple as that. And that's why I chose that as the first, because it's so easy to obtain sage or Palo Santo. You can find these at Whole Foods. Sometimes some of the um, healthier grocery stores will have them. And so that is method number one for cleansing your crystals. Method number two for cleansing your crystal is water. So just like we use water to bathe 
to shower and it runs off that negative energy and that dirt and that grime from the day. That's the same concept with your crystals. So you can use running water from the tap or running water from the bath. Even better, if you have like a stream or a lake where you have running fresh water, you can use that. You'll turn the water on, you'll take your crystal, and you'll run it underneath the water. As simple as that. And so the idea is that that negative energy will run off the crystal with the water and down the drain or down the stream or whatever you are choosing to do your cleanse of the crystal. And so I'll generally take a crystal and run it under the water for about a minute and I'll just make sure I get all parts of the crystal wet. And if you have a pointed crystal like this, very often I'll just point that down so all of that water comes down and just runs off of the crystal. That's easy, right? Also, you can take your crystals and you can submerge them in a bowl of water. So you'll fill up a bowl with water. You'll take your crystals, you'll put your crystals in, and you'll make sure they're completely submerged, completely covered in the water. You can leave them in there anywhere from a few minutes to an hour or so, depending on what you choose. Be careful. There are some crystals that do not work well with water. So selenite being one of those crystals that will dissolve in water. So you need to be careful. Uh, hematite. Hematite will rust from water and you don't want rusty, funky crystals, right? So you do want to make sure you're careful with that. And for that reason, I generally tend to stray away from the submerged in water, but it is an option. So the next method is sunlight or moonlight. Now, this method is one of my personal favorite methods because not only do you cleanse the crystals, you also recharge or charge the crystals from the energy of the moon or the energy of the sun. So with sunlight, sunlight, you'll want to be careful because like the water, sometimes sunlight affects some of the crystals. For example, amethyst. Amethyst will fade if it has too much direct intense sun. And there are other crystals like that. So you want to be careful with leaving your crystals in the sunlight for too long. But what you'll do is you'll take your crystals and you'll put them in the sunlight. There's the sunlight right there. And you'll put them in the sunlight, whether it's on a ledge or a windowsill or on your deck or wherever. You'll leave them in the sunlight, the direct sunlight, and you'll leave them there for about 30 minutes or so. Some people leave them longer. I don't find that I need to leave them any longer than 30 minutes, especially with like an amethyst. You don't want to come back to a clear looking crystal uh, because you left your crystal in the sun just way too long. Uh, but you'll leave them in the sun and it will cleanse and it will charge. And um, that is a very lovely way to cleanse your crystals. Now of the sunlight and moonlight method, I prefer the moonlight method. I am a moon child. My moon is in cancer which is the original sign of the moon. If you deal with any astrology, I love astrology, all things astrology. Uh, but what you'll do is you will take a crystal and a full moon is a perfect time. So our next full moon is March 1st, which is Thursday. And I think that is when I'll be uploading this video. So it's a perfect time to go ahead and cleanse your crystals tonight. You'll take the energy of that full moon and cleanse and charge your crystals. I'll take my crystals. Um, generally, I'll take them and just rinse them under the water real quick and um, wipe them off. I'll put them out in the direct moonlight, whether it's uh, just out on the sidewalk in front of the house, on the deck in the back, or on a chair in the back, or wherever. You can put them wherever you think they're going to get that moonlight, and um, you just leave them. I put them out at night. I collect them in the morning. I let them sit out there all night. It is my favorite method. My crystals seem so cleansed and charged when I use the moonlight method. That that That's just the way I love to do it. So I don't know. You might have a favorite that is different of the ones that I'm mentioning, but um, you might want to try them all and kind of figure out, oh, I like the way my crystals feel after this one. Now, maybe it's because I'm a moon child. Who knows? Maybe you're not a moon child. But um, I love the Moonlight Method, so I just want to share with you that that, that is my personal favorite. And um, I will be cleansing some crystals on March 1st, full moon, which might be today, depending on when I upload this video. So the fourth method we're going to speak about today is either burying your crystal in sea salt or earth, dirt, clay, sand. That is the fourth method. So sea salt is very easy. You'll take a bowl. You'll fill it up with sea salt. Make sure it is sea salt, not the other stuff. Sea salt. 
Um, I prefer to use the pink Himalayan sea salt. It does not have to be that one, but that is the one that I like. You'll fill the bowl up with sea salt. You will put your crystals in the bowl. You'll make sure they are completely submerged, completely covered in the salt. You can leave them there anywhere from about 30 minutes to three days, depending on what you want to, um, how, how much you think your crystal needs to be cleansed. I prefer to use my, leave mine like a day. I just put it in there, leave it all day, forget about it, pull it out if I'm going to use the sea salt method. You'll do the same for the dirt or the clay or the sand. You can go in your backyard, dig yourself a little pit, put your crystals in there, cover them back up with the dirt, leave them. Let them cleanse that way, 30 minutes to days uh, if you'd like. That is another method you can use to cleanse your crystals. So the last method, which is the fifth method, is the easiest, easiest method to me. But this method does require that you have some self-confidence. It does require that you believe in your own energy and your own power because you are going to use yourself, your own energy, to cleanse your crystal. Okay, so what you'll do is you'll take your crystal and you'll hold your crystal in your hand. If I do this method, I'll generally only do one crystal or a few crystals. You can grab up a few crystals, but you'll take your crystal and you can do this with your eyes open or your eyes closed. What you'll do is you'll imagine a white light, right? And this white light will start at your crown chakra and work its way down through your being. You're going to essentially use your own energy, your own power, your own positive energy to cleanse your crystal. You can do this anytime, anywhere from about 15 seconds to a minute or minutes if you'd like. And you can have a mantra or a saying or a positive affirmation that you say. You'll take deep breaths and you will say your mantra or your saying. It can be anything simple. Just keep it simple. You don't need a long drawn out, you know, soliloquy. But if you just have a simple, I use the positive energy from my own being to cleanse this crystal, right? It can be as simple as that. I use my energy to cleanse this crystal. And that is a very easy method to do. I find that it works well. I told you I prefer the moonlight, the full moon. But sometimes if I just want to do a quick refresher on my crystals and we're not going to have a full moon anytime soon, I will do that. I will hold my crystal and I will imagine my white light and I will, it will be swirling through my body. I see it moving down. I take my deep breaths. I'm holding my crystal and I am using the positive energy of my own being to cleanse this crystal. If you really concentrate, you can feel the energy of that crystal. And crystals have very powerful energy, especially if you just are silent and just hold it and pay attention. So that is the fifth method that I have for cleansing your crystals. Now, at the beginning, I told you there are some crystals that do not require any sort of cleansing. They are self-cleansing crystals. I cleanse them anyway, but I do a very gentle cleanse. I figure it can't hurt, right? But they are self-cleansing, so you do not have to cleanse them. The, some of those crystals, and these are not all of them, but the ones that I can remember off the top of my head are selenite. So I've shown you selenite. This is selenite right here. It is a clear to milky white crystal. I have a selenite wand that I love. This is a self-cleansing crystal. Bonus way to cleanse your crystal, you can use selenite to cleanse your crystal because it does not hold negative energy. So that is a crystal that does not need to be cleansed. It's also a crystal that if you do decide to leave it in water, it can dissolve. So just keep that in mind. Uh, citrine. Citrine is another crystal that does not need to be cleansed. It is a self-cleansing crystal. This crystal is associated with Scorpio. If you are a Scorpio, this is one of our gemstones. We have many. This is not the only one, but this is one of our gemstones. Uh, so you do not have to cleanse citrine at all. And another crystal that you do not have to cleanse is kyanite. I only have shards of this kyanite because I use it for my crystal grids, but I will show you. This is what kyanite looks like. It is blue. And I love these shards because you can use them 
to uh, lay out in crystal grids and they work really well. So kyanite is a self-cleansing stone or gemstone or crystal and I'm trying to get it out the light. There it is. So you can see what it is. It's kind of like a blue jean denim color and um, you do not have to cleanse this one either. So those are three crystals that you don't have to cleanse. Selenite, citrine, kyanite. I was going to add on programming your crystals to this video, but I realized this video probably is already long enough and I tend to run over the time that I want to spend on a video. First of all, because I know attention spans, no one wants to sit here for 30 minutes watching a video. So the next video I'm going to do is programming your crystals. If you have any other topics you want to hear about crystals, drop them in the comments below and we will explore them. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good jazz. Uh, Zuzu Natural. Peace out.